Hello and thanks for joining me. I'm standing here with Billy from Knox Machining. He's uh, built a CNC controller for my wood lathe. Uh, he's going to show us uh, uh, what it's all about. Let's take a look at it. What do we got here, Billy? Well, this is the whole unit here? Yeah, this is the uh, controller unit in an enclosure. Open it up there. Well, that's a nice looking enclosure. So over here we have the Mesa 7996 uh, interface card. Um, I've paired it with these two stepper drivers. Uh, here we have a 5 volt power supply for the card and the 48 volt power supply for the stepper drivers. Uh, all nice wire loomed and we have the uh, uh, connector blocks there on the DIN rail and a nice power switch. Oh, that's, that is really a sweet job. That's uh, very neat. And right here we got the X and Y axis and, and what's this here for? The, that's the uh, interface cable for your switches. We've got a little breakout here on another oh, set yeah. of pins. Uh, so you can just come in and wire in your switches in, these, in place of these little jumpers. I've got flagged there with uh, those little labels. Everything's labeled great. And so it should be pretty much plug and play when you get to, get to your shop and start wiring it in. Yeah, I'll put that in a separate box so everything stays clean. And over here you got our diagram? Yeah, we got the uh, diagram for the Mesa card. And down here we've got a uh, printout for your DIN rail so you know if you have to go in there and rewire something, you know what's what. Yeah, hopefully I don't have to rewire anything because uh, I'll have to get your help probably. <laughs> I tried to make it bulletproof. I labeled everything with the little uh, heat shrink labels. Uh, make it nice and clean. Um, oh, yeah, I think it'll do pretty good for you. I think so too. That looks outstanding. Well, let's demo this thing and uh, show me what it does on the screen anyway. All right. we, we won't be able to see what it's actually doing on my lathe until I get it hooked up. But uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. All right. Okay, Billy. Uh, uh, just run it through a dry run, like, uh, show what it's going to do when you're, uh, okay, that's a pond right there, right? Yeah, let me zoom in for you so you can see it better. Good deal. And and that's, it's kind of confusing to look at, but this is the center line, right? Pretty close to the center line. Yeah, so the pond is... Mirrored. Yeah, so this is what's going to be cut out. Let's hit the go button here. And there's the servos running. It's doing a facing cut right there. Facing off the end of the wood in this case. That's a roughing cut there. And this is dimensioning the diameter down so that it can profile out the uh, material uh, more easily. And all that's in the G code. And I, I've done a video on this uh, that uh, goes into way more detail so uh, we can post that up. Yeah, I will, uh, I will put a link in this video uh, to Billy's video on this. It's a lot more in depth than what we're going to do right here. Isn't that amazing? I love it. Here's the good part. Watch this. Getting ready to do a finishing pass. Smooth it all out. Beautiful, beautiful. That's it. I like it. Well, we made it back from Knoxville with the CNC controller. My wife and I went down there and spent some time with Billy and his wife. Uh, I have to say, uh, we had a great time and uh, Billy did a fantastic job on this CNC controller. I've got most of it installed. I did it off camera. There really wasn't too much to the install. It was just bolt bolting on a couple of stepper motors and doing some wiring. And uh, yeah, I don't really like to uh, highlight my wiring ability, but uh, it's taking shape. Anyway, uh, let me show you what, what I've done so far. I put a uh, magnetic switch on there. I did that before I went to uh, Knoxville and a, a safe button. But after I got back, uh, there's the uh, stepper motors. One on the front there and one on the cross slide. Uh, and I wired in these uh, limit switches. That's a limit switch on the front. And on the back side, there's a home switch. Uh, there's a little difference between a home switch and a limit switch. Uh, 
the home switch just tells it uh, a re like a reference point and the limit switch is to stop uh, a crash when you mess up on your programming. Uh, here's a uh, terminal block that I got wired up temporarily and that's my next step. I gotta mount that box and put that terminal strip in there. Uh, but over here is the uh, the CNC controller that Billy made up, nicely labeled. Uh, this is not its permanent home, but uh, that's where it's sitting for now. Got a lot of wires on the floor. I'll have to consolidate them. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get started wiring that box right there. Billy had jumpers in this little terminal block, but when I took the jumpers out, I had to make myself a diagram there. Thought about wiring this on the back side or under here. I think I'm going to mount it right here because I might want to put the controller box underneath here. And I like it on the front side where I can get to it. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Maybe that's why I got that chap tap so cheap. See if I can break another one. Yeah, I believe I saved that hole. Looks a little better. A few less wires. Got power to the controller. Got the software booted up. Linux CNC there. That about wraps it up for today and uh, thanks for joining me. Be sure and subscribe and hit that bell so you get notifications. Uh, the next part, part four, I think, <laughs> I've lost track, we'll be doing actual wood turning. Thanks for joining me.